Hello, and welcome to Mastering System Center Operations Manager 2016. This is our final section of instruction, Section 9, and it deals with integrating PowerShell with Operations Manager. I'm Stephen Homan. In our first video, Video 9.1, we will discuss the Operations Manager command shell. As you know, I like to set a foundation for the remaining videos in the course, and the command shell is no different. So, Video 9.1. The Operations Manager command shell, let's begin. In this video, we're going to take a look at what is the Operations Manager command shell, some common maintenance tasks that are only available in the command shell, as well as some ways to manage Operations Manager from the command shell, and then we'll discuss some advanced PowerShell script concepts for Operations Manager. We're only going to go into concepts here because in video 9.3, we will actually tackle a real-world scenario based on our concept we discuss in video 9.1. So, what is the command shell? Well, it is PowerShell with the Operations Manager modules loaded. And this is installed on all systems that have the console installed. And you can get a list of all Operations Manager PowerShell commandlets using the command git-command. So you're going to get your commands from the module. Operations Manager. So that's git hyphen command hyphen module operations manager and then pipe that to select the object and then show the property of name. And this will just give you a basic list of all the names of the commands in the Operations Manager PowerShell module. As they add new ones with updates and patches, this is a great command to run just to see what's been added and, uh, and such. And then from there you can do things like show the help file for it and such to get to learn it better. In the Operations Manager shell, we have some maintenance tasks that can only be run in there. And the first one, this remove disabled items from SCOM monitoring, is one such command. So in the case of overriding discovery, and as we talked about in one of the previous videos, specifically things like SQL and IIS, when we import the management packs for SQL and IIS, it does its job in discovery by going out and finding every IIS or SQL instance in our environment, even the ones we don't want to monitor or the ones that are not prepared to be monitored because of configuration issues. Well, after configuring an override for discovery, we will still have potentially discovered items in that monitoring management pack. So what we need to do is run this command, remove hyphen SCOM disabled class instance, and what that does is says, well, if discovery is previously there, but it's not there now, and you've been discovered, I will remove the monitoring from you. I'll remove this disabled class instance from Operations Manager. This can only be done from the command shell. So this is one that you'll run quite often um, as you do discovery overrides. It's also one that Microsoft recommends running two or three times until it shows that it basically takes zero time to run, meaning that it is not finding anything. The second one shows a maintenance task that we can do from the kind of shows and demonstrates the power of the command shell. Now we can go into our console. We can see all of our alerts with a resolution state of new and a severity of informational. We can highlight them all. We can right click and we can say close. Or if we're not overly concerned about keeping them in the console um, after a period of time, we can go ahead and have a PowerShell script that will resolve all informational alerts created by a rule. And the first one is by a rule, and I will show you in the second part how to change that to ones that are caused by a monitor. As you know, as you recall from our previous video, there is a difference. So we're going to get SCOM alerts based on the criteria of resolution state equals zero and severity equals zero. So new informational alerts. And where the object is a monitor alert equals false, thereby making it a rule, we will set the SCOM alert resolution state to 255, which is resolved, and output nothing. So that handles our rules of informational status. And we can change the criteria. We can change the is monitored alert attribute and change what we close. So if we change that is monitored alert attribute to true, then we will find all of our alerts caused by a monitor. So, takeaway here, we can go ahead and run this script and close out bulk alerts uh, when we have alert storms or, or things that just need to be cleaned up. So the advanced script concepts, now we've seen very basic scripts, let's talk about some advanced script concepts. And this is a scenario that we will actually go over in detail in video 9.3. 
And this was actually presented by a blogger named Pete Zerger, who's a fine System Center administrator and it shares a lot of information. And this is from the System Center blog in, on June 23rd of 2012. And you can find this online easily, but we'll talk about it real here right now as a, as a concept. And so the concept here is that we'll automate the agent discovery and deployment of our agents with PowerShell. So the first thing we're going to do is run a script that uses um, the Active Directory and Operations Manager modules in PowerShell to identify computers in Active Directory without Operations Manager agents installed. The second script will use the same modules, the Active Directory and Operations Manager modules, to then install agents based on the discovery results output. And I like to uh, note, and Pete Zerger noted this in his blog, he likes to keep these as separate runs because we want to review the results on the first one. So when we get to video 9.3, this is exactly what we'll do. So the Operations Manager command shell is a powerful interface to manage System Center Operations Manager. Some actions taken against Ops Manager are only available in the command shell, so you will need to learn more about the command shell should be near the top of the list for any Operations Manager administrator, as it will make your life easier in the long term.